Well, just the sort of weather the fans were hoping for this evening. It's absolutely ideal. I'm Derek Ray, and sharing commentary with me, as usual, is Stuart Robson. And the focus is very much on live action from the Championship. It's Blackburn Rovers, and they take on Peterborough United. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, pinning the opposition back, playing the ball forward, and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. Well, this is something they clearly need to improve upon. I'm talking about the record away from home. Well, their away form has been so poor, just the one win. But I do think they have a decent squad. It's just a case of getting the best out of them. Something needs to change today, whether it's the tactics, the attitude or the system. And here's the lineup for Blackburn Rovers. Well, it's a 4 3 3 formation with a centre forward and two wingers. So it's important that the midfield players give support to the striker whenever the ball goes wide. They can't allow him to be isolated. Let's have a look at the initial 11 for the visitors. Well, when they don't have possession, it will be a back five. But when they win the ball back, the wing backs will push further forward to make it a 3 5 2. And this confrontation is underway. And they continue to advance. And a lot of options here. Has eyes for goal! Well, the shot seemed like a good option. But goalkeeper's ball. Grant. Dembele well, they keep working away looking for passing lanes splendid defending and it needed to be Joe Rothwell Buckley and intercepted it Getting the ball forward. Cross could be useful. And a timely intervention. Ben Brereson. Gallagher. Brereson. Opportunity. And a goal! Now they've broken through. 1-0 here. Well, let's see this again. Look at the bend he gets on this. That struck so cleanly. What a good finish. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? George Grant, Smodix, Grant, what can they do from here? That's eyes for goal! And a body in the way, now the hopes rise as they win a corner. Trying to deliver it accurately. Well, the keeper won't be complaining about that corner kick delivery. His ball all the way.
Well, they continue their push for the equaliser, but definitely not forcing it. Well, honestly, I didn't mean to jinx them. Just wasn't a very good pass, finally. Gallagher. Clark Harris. Good tackle. Good movement. Could be. And it goes. That will greatly help the cause. Now they only need to keep concentration levels high. Well, as you can see, he hits this with so much power. But just look at the follow-through. So athletic. That's a dynamic strike. So 2-0 now. Smodics. Dembele. Useful looking position, you've got to say. And space here on the flank. Chance to play it in. Wonderful challenge, and a throw-in coming up. Attending to his defensive chores. Oh, a moment of pure class! Had to catch it perfectly, and didn't he just? Just look at this again. The combination play in the top third of the field was so precise and he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. Blistering first half display and just look at that score. And the electronic board delivers the news. Two minutes of stoppage time. Gallagher. And that is going to be a free kick. So half time and sadly the visitors have grown rather accustomed to this situation losing once again away from home. Well I wasn't expecting too much from them but this has been really poor. Losing possession in dangerous areas, not defending with any structure and a lack of desire. They need a response in the second half that's for sure. The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Johnson Clark Harris. Dembele. And a tidy ball. Well, the flag has gone up. It was really close.
Butler. Well, just couldn't keep the ball. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. And he keeps going. Well, the timing of the pass, that little bit off. Clark Harris. Well, great read there to intercept. Well, when you sit off like this, you invite pressure. Buckley. Really effective shielding under pressure. And a very good challenge. No possibilities in the centre. And the keeper will happily collect that one. Johnson Clark Harris. Ward now. Oh, a lovely ball. But how well he did to cut that one out. Travis. Joe Rothwell. Shot attempted. Well, diving magnificently to make sure he got there. to deliver it accurately the corner kicks keep on coming <laughs> now sending it in well he's made a right hash of delivering that corner and a goal kick is the outcome. Well, we're picking him out for a reason. He's having a tremendous game in attack, Stuart. Well, he's been brilliant today. His skill, his movement, his goals. What a good performance. And he's not finished just yet. Smodix Dembele retaining possession proving difficult run it magnificently and intercepted Harry Pickering A potential danger here well, didn't seem to be too much in that offside decision. Substitution for Blackburn Rovers. Coming off the pitch, number nine, Sam Gallagher. Coming onto the pitch, number 13, Daniel Butterworth. Well, the seconds are ticking away and the home side in control. Stuart, what have you made of this? Well, what an excellent performance this has been. They've had complete control for most of the game. Their movement, clever passing and energy have been a joy to watch. It's been a really good win for them. Grant. Butler. Tremendous ball played through. That's great goalkeeping. Well, what a save that is. He was so alert there.
substitution for... Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Played over. Well, as a defender, that will sit you down to the ground. Pass after pass, happy to just keep possession and frustrate their opponents. Opportunity here. Well, just look at the setup here. It's such a clever back heel. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. A lopsided contest, 4-0. And that will be all for this game. The visitors go down once again. Just no sense of feel-good in their camp. Well, quite simply, that's not good enough. Too many of the players aren't performing and their tactical understanding is non-existent. But I'm not overly surprised. This is becoming the norm in away games.